Shanghai, China. It's the largest metropolis on Earth, suffering under the burden of 23 million people. But something is happening here, which may change the way our cities work forever. This building is actually one of its kind. No one has ever built this type of building before. A haven with every amenity, with clean air, and with sunlit gardens perched high above the crowded streets. It is the Shanghai Tower, the city within the city, and it is a super skyscraper. For more than 100 years, Shanghai has been China's commercial powerhouse. It has been expanding unchecked, and it shows no signs of stopping. The city is reaching a crisis point. So, the city of the city of the Pudong, where the Shanghai Tower is being built, looked like this in 1985. This is Pudong today. We have great density in you know, the city, and so much population. And the infrastructure in the streets, it's relatively old. All in all, the city had become a tough place to live. And it was clear that a radical idea was needed before life in Shanghai became impossible. The team behind the Shanghai Tower selected a site across the river from the old heart of the city, known as the Bund. Historically a financial center, it's now also a place for people to relax, eat, and shop. The intention was to create a version of this for the 21st century. Traditionally speaking, a city with a lens, with a major street, arterial street across, and they have a horizontal street, divide them into blocks. Each of them have a street corner and have a, maybe some kind of community park and have a restaurant, uh, coffee shops, and uh, hotels, offices, horizontally. Then if you, then you lift them into vertical, and this is actually how the Shanghai Tower is. To meet the needs of modern Shanghai, they wouldn't use cars to get around. We are offering you all aspects of your life. Either you go to work, you have food, or you have entertainment. They'd have hotels, restaurants, shops, but most importantly, space. And in the building, they have the, this neighborhood community make them feel easy to live in the building. But given that Shanghai is already full, there was only one way left to build, and that was up. This is the vision, a solid core reaching a third of a mile into the sky. 121 floors divided into nine separate sections or levels. Encased inside a glass curtain wall, it rises 2,073 feet. And covering the entire structure, a second skin made of smooth, twisting glass. And the gap between them will be for gardens with up to 180 feet of headroom. In the middle of a polluted megacity, there will be light, there will be trees, there will be space, and there will be cool, fresh air. Shanghai Tower is going to be a vertical, truly a vertical city, and where people can work, live, and play. That's that's the vision.